Thanks for joining us for 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Miranda Parnell. First tonight, a father is in St. Pete jail, accused of killing his two-year-old son and his son's mother. We are seeing 21-year-old Thomas Mosley's face for the first time in this mugshot. Police say they found his son Taylin inside the jaws of an alligator last night, just a day after his mother was found dead in her apartment with stab wounds. Just hours ago, we learned new details in this case. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio joins us in studio. Miguel, this new information is disturbing to hear. Police say Thomas Mosley stabbed Passion Jeffrey more than 100 times. The affidavit states cuts to his hands and arms appear to stem from times the blade slipped during the stabbing. On Wednesday night, police say Mosley was at Jeffrey's apartment for his birthday. That same night, police say he left the apartment, went to the lake where they found his son, before going to his mother's house just 10 blocks away. The next day, Jeffrey's family found blood outside her apartment, then called for help. This is all according to the affidavit. Now Thomas Mosley faces two counts of first degree murder. It's a story people wanted a different ending to, like Ben Farrington. That's, that's my neighbor at the end of the day. He didn't know Passion Jeffrey and her son, Taylin, but he didn't need to to feel sympathy for them. People wanted to find this kid before anything else. An Amber Alert for Taylin was out for more than a day. Strangers desperate to join the search. But Friday night, officers say they found Taylin dead at a lake near Del Holmes Park inside the jaws of an alligator. We are sorry that it had to end this way. Memorials of Passion and Taylin now sit at the park in their honor. Their family spoke hours before police say they found Taylin. Taylin lost his mommy. So he needs his family right now. While strangers know Passion and Talon most for how they died, their family want to share more about how they lived. A young mom, Passion dedicated time to make a better life for herself and her son. She would FaceTime him during her breaks at CVS. And Talon. That Talon is a beautiful little boy. Also known as Tay Tay, was sweet and loving, always with a smile on his face. And how Talon died is still unclear, but the affidavit out tonight does reveal police found his father's bloody fingerprints inside the scene of the crime. And just a couple hours ago, Talon's family wrote a letter thanking everyone involved in the search. We'll have a link to a GoFundMe they set up for funeral expenses on our website. In studio, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay.